Welcome to Enchanted Tarot. This is for the sign of Sagittarius for the month of July. It is a general reading, so um, that being said, it may or may not resonate with you. If it doesn't, check your other placements. Your messages could be there. And um, if not, then check back in the following week when I put out new messages for your sign. Um, also, when I'm reading, know that these energies can go vice versa, okay? So, at the heart of the reading, we have the eye. It is being watched or watching. So either someone is watching you or you've been watching them. Um, it could be somebody who's taking a closer look at something. And we see that that's definitely what it is, uh, among other things. They're watching, uh, paying very close attention. Um, they're looking for answers. They're looking for answers and perhaps even watching, waiting for that right moment. Because here in the hangman, um, they're torn um, between wanting to fix it and fear of, uh, uh, of the cost or of the sacrifice or... Um, fear that that they're wrong, that they make a mistake because they have on top of this, they want to fix things, but you can see with the next card that they have um, a, a bad feeling, like they're afraid. They're afraid to put effort here because they're afraid that it's not going to work. Again, And so, it's like they have to face that shadow side. And it is sitting at the bottom of the deck. We have the, uh, the world of shadows, the devils, the things that drive us, our fears that, that keep us trapped, you know. They keep us trapped. They keep us trapped from going where we desire to be. And we desire to be where this opportunity is sitting, where this new beginning is sitting on the other side of that door. But they feel they don't have enough information, so they hold back. They're afraid. They sit back in the dark and they watch. Confuse, anxiety. See, they're keeping themselves trapped by fear. All these cards suggest somebody that's very afraid to uh, put effort, you know, back into something because it ended badly in the past and most likely um, a few times probably with this card because this is a culmination of, uh, of several meetings that went bad and uh, everybody ends up heartbroken going their separate ways. That's what they're afraid of. That might happen again. And you see, this is what, what they're thinking of. They're thinking back to the past. Well, what happened in the past was um, some uh, huge fight, argument. I mean, it could could have, for some, it could have involved a third person. Um, this is also a card of jealousy. There was a... There was a fight, an argument, um, or just something that culminated or escalated, maybe based on jealousies, and, and brought this to an end, and a heart, very heartbreaking end here. And while we saw that here in this other Three of Swords that's over here, but it also has or carries the energy of confusion, okay? And so somebody's gone inside to seek their answers, to find the answers. And, you know, maybe uh, some of those uh, questions they're asking is, how can I fix this? How can I make things better? What do I need to do? It's 
it's almost like um, what will be the cost if I do and what will be the cost if I don't. Yeah, so it's, it's like they're, they're stuck. So uh, they're very conflicted over a decision. A decision for what? A decision for a reconciliation. A decision to try to heal this relationship. It could be that this person is torn in two directions and that would be between um, the logical mind and and the heart, you know, the heart wants what it wants. And the heart wants this reconciliation. And the mind uh, says, wait a minute here, uh, you've been hurt before. This has ended badly before, not just once, but many times. Maybe you don't want to go there, right? But the heart says, yes, yes. I love this person. I want to go there. And so here we see that this person is withdrawn in, into their shell, so to speak. It's like they withdrew. Um, taking their time um, to figure things out, to figure out not just you and your story, but also their own story. Very, very important that they do this. And this may have taken quite some time because I have the Knight of Coins up here who comes forward with his wisdom. And he's very, very slow. So um, this would have uh, taken time. So he comes forward with wisdom, not a weapon wisdom wisdom that he gained here he has gained a new perspective um, <clears throat> in this time apart he's gained a new perspective on this situation he sees it now differently uh, away from all the distractions perhaps um, the, he could see it's like uh, it's like uh, the sun breaking through the clouds and you know something that was covered um, is now brightly illuminated and it's like oh god why didn't I see that you know and it's like um, making sense finally out of something the pieces falling into place And so they are still in this um, waiting mode. Um, they are they are just like so tempted to reach out uh, to have this conversation. They regret here something they did. It kind of blew up in their face, maybe. They did something without thinking. And it blew up in their face and it caused a lot of damage. And now there's a lot of regret. But, you know, uh, the battle is not yet over. Because now um, they need to take responsibility for what they've done. They recognize it, they see it, but now they have to own up to it. They have to speak a truth. And they're really, really thinking about this. They know that um, they know that they need to come forward and apologize for something. They know they are to blame. Uh, 
And um, I mean, it, it's possible that this is somebody. Um, this is somebody who it's not easy for them to admit uh, that they made a mistake or that they were wrong. And this could be part of why it's it's like taking so long. So it's like, it's why I see that the sword and the scales are put up onto the wall. It's like they put it onto the shelf for now. Because the time is not right. The time is not yet right for them to do this. But they are coming. They are coming because we have them coming to apologize here. Not just that, but they've got, there's something they want to tell you, okay? So there's emotions here. This can be a profession of love. You will be receiving this offer from this person, this apology, and um, yeah, I see a new offer. This is um, a window here of opportunity. It's not planted yet, but they're opening the door. They're opening the door for a new opportunity. They are opening the door for a new opportunity. Um, they have a wish, a desire to leave this opportunity at your feet and hope that you will take it. So this has to do with that apology, hoping that, uh, that you will accept their apology and hoping that you will give them another chance. But, um, you know, this had to happen. They had to figure out their own story. Now the pieces have fallen into place. Now they see. And so now, now a new, um, a new cycle here can begin. if you'll take them back. I thank you for watching, for liking, and for sharing my videos, and for subscribing. Also, thank you to everyone who has sent in a donation. It is greatly appreciated. Many blessings to you.